What is good YouTube with you here with a video on Venom the Last Dance. So, although it's not directly a Marvel movie, it's a Marvel Urgency movie via Sony Pictures. So, it's the final Marvel movie of the year being Venom the Last Dance comes out one week before Halloween, the 25th of October. So, lots of information going around reshoots happening in august a few months before the movie's coming out when is the next trailer coming out there are some pretty cool details to go over in terms of venom 3 so yo what is freaking good youtube was here if you're new and make subscribe to never miss in the marvel dc case you monster versus pop culture based content that i try to deliver on a day basis good subscribe channel turn notification on and let me know are you excited to see venom 3 potentially being tom hardy's last movie at least in the franchise, as they've made it clear, this will be the last standalone movie. Although we have got Secret Wars coming up. And if you know anything, you know the Venom symbiote. If they're going to stick with the comics, which let's be honest, they never do in cinematic universes. But hopefully we can see the Venom symbiote find its way over to Spider-Man, Tom Holland. And seeing as the most recent rumors, which I don't really believe, but they could be true, where it says... Any movie release in between Kang's Dynasty, which is now called Doomsday, and Secret Wars will be set in Battle World unless it's going to be a prequel. So if that's the case, maybe this new reshoots that they're filming, that they filmed in New York, is to add Spider-Man into the equation in the post credit scene. Sony is known for changing things last minute. They literally did it with Madame Webb as there was supposed to be a Spider-Man appear in that movie. And they literally did it with Morbius as well. So if you could follow us on Instagram, I wish you to see the beautiful face one of boys. And also you could check us out on Twitter, I wish you G. Right, let's get into today's information. So the final trailer coming out for Venom 3, the last dance according to Cryptic HD. And we've used Cryptic HD in the past. His information is very accurate when it comes to run times at least. And also when it comes to trailer information, he says, it's worth saying, he said this on the 2nd of August though, I didn't want to make a video just for a trailer release date. We ain't back in 2019, lads, so I can't do that anymore. So he said here in late August to mid-September, we can expect a new trailer possible to play with the Wolves Venom and the Last Dance. And that would make sense because there's no point promoting a movie this far out. Realistically, is there? No. So that would make sense. Comes out the 25th of October would make sense to drop a trailer towards the start of September, just before the movie actually comes out and before Tom Hardy goes on the world tour for his movie, which I presume they would do. So over the last couple of days, I mean, this information came out 5th, 6th, 7th of August around that. It appeared that Tom Hardy was in New York City, which, you know, is kind of the backdrop for the Venom franchise. Venom lives in San Francisco. And because he appears to be in New York City, people are like, yo, they're doing the Spider-Man thing. They're doing the Spider-Man thing. As we know, this movie, careful spoilers, don't worry, in life, there is supposed to be a young Peter Parker in this movie, and they're going to essentially protect Peter Parker in this movie, which kind of does line up with what happened in Madame Web. Obviously, we don't know if it's true, but we've had a trailer already. We know somewhat the storyline of this movie, and there's a lot of details that have been out there about said movie. A lot of people are, are not actually happy about said plot information that is out there so the information that's out there is venom exploring the hive mind he'll learn that in every universe he dies to spider-man and then they realize they have to kill spider-man in their universe to stay alive so they spend some time hunting down peter parker however this universe he's 10 years old the toxin symbiote is going to be the main villain in the movie he's basically the son of carnage and the grandson of venom toxin who also shares the same hive mind he wants to kill Peter Parker. So Venom goes from trying to kill Peter Parker to protect him. Toxin will give birth to a bunch of new symbiotes, including Scream, which will be played by Juno Temple, which also will be the new love interest for Eddie Brock. Orwell is also a feature in this movie, leading to the jury, which will be hunting down the symbiotes. He wants to avenge his son, who died in the hands of Carnage. So that's just a general plot, as you know, in channels we cover spoilers potential spoilers but the images of the reshoots obviously they're filming out in public so it's just literally tom hardy who plays eddie brock literally walking through a street and realistically this late in the game we know it's the final movie we know no the god of the symbiosis is going to have to have some input into the movie according to spoilers it just looks like he's walking down the street but if you look at what people were saying on twitter 
I'm not saying this is my information. It's not. People are like, yeah, it looks like Spider-Man is going to be appearing in the movie. I mean, it would make sense. We're in August now. The movie comes out in October. Why would they do reshoots this late? And most people are trying to say, yeah, it's going to be a late last minute reshoot. No, reshoots are standard. But the reshoots are not standard this far out. It could be anything. It literally could be a re... They could be repurposing shots. Could be pickup shots. Could literally be anything. People are just jumping to conclusions that it's Sony. Sony doing mess up stuff. Sony do add random things. They took out stuff from Madam Web and also Morbius. But Venom is the only franchise that Sony has in live action that does perform well at the box office. Both Venom 1 and Venom 2 did well. I'm not talking about across the Spider-Verse and into Spider-Verse. They did great. But as we know, Madam Web basically lost money and Morbius lost a hell of a lot of money. So this could be their final hurrah. As you know, like we said on the prologue of the video, it's supposed to be Tom Hardy's last time in the franchise. But that doesn't mean he can't come over to the MCU. As we know, in No Way Home, Venom kind of made its way over. Then it's going to make its way back at the start of the movie. So it is a jadency, I guess you could say. They only shot a couple of days in New York. Although you don't see any Spider-Man, it could be a Spider-Man related scene. And if it is a Spider-Man related scene, everyone seems to think it's going to be Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. Some people seem to think it's going to be Toby, but realistically, it's going to be anyone. It's going to be Tom Holland Spider-Man. But obviously, they're not going to film this out, out in the public. They'd shoot this behind closed doors because how do you get money? You pull, you pull any Spider-Man into a, a Venom movie and that movie would bang. So it would make so much more money. So that's the recent rumor about what's going on in the reshoots, although they literally only took place over a couple of days. So I'm not saying this is true, but we haven't made a Venom video for, uh, for such a long time. And we also wanted to talk about when the trade is coming out. So it could be interesting. Might not be interesting, might not be true. But as you know, we here on the Wall Street channel, we cover everything. And we've covered a hell of a lot of Venom content recently. So recently, I mean over the last year or so. And the plot leaks do line up with the first trailer. Plot leaks came out before the first trailer. Most of the plot leaks we went over for literally like Godzilla, X Kong, The New Empire. Also, movies like Deadpool 3, or for movies like Morty vs. the Madness. Generally, the plot leaks we go over on this channel, I hate to tell you, turn out to be true. So, it is looking likely that the main narrative will be protecting a 10 year old Peter Parker from Toxin when originally they're going to kill him. And it would make sense if we could get some kind of Spider Man appear even in the ending scene it's not it's not out there for them not to change the ending of the movie ant-man 3 i know it's a different well it's a jadency same universe i guess in a roundabout way because it's a jadency they literally changed the ending of ant-man 3 just before the movie came out they literally reshot most of multiverse madness so will they be changing things with venom 3 i don't know if you go back to some other tweets and stuff you could basically say that Nor the God of the Symbiotes is also going to appear in this movie because Nor is sending out his minions to essentially get Venom because Venom has something that apparently he wants. Could happen, it might not happen, but it would be cool. Bring Nor, bring Spider-Man, bring everyone if, if this is going to be the last hurrah. We know they were supposed to be building up to an epic level scale event with these movies, but we don't know, like Spider-Man getting, we don't know if that's still what they're doing. And we don't know if Spider-Man 4 is going to have any kind of crossover with the Venom franchise. There's a lot of people keep saying that Venom's going to appear in Spider-Man 4. Then he wasn't. Then he was. Then he wasn't. So we don't know. But as you know, if you're new around here or if you're not new around here or if you've been here for a while, you know, generally stuff I cover generally turns out to be loosely 80%-ish real. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram. We'll see you see a beautiful face. Check us out on Twitter. We'll see you 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 on Twitter.